We're just a very positive group and we work really hard, we motivate each other, so I think we can do really big things here. We had to uh, make a tough decision, um, had to be a last minute decision. You okay? And she hit it and she felt pain right here. To know that I have um, teammates that I can really depend on is, is exciting. I think the girls love it. I think they feed off each other's energy. Um, you know, my team right now, they're all different age, different uh, points of their careers, but when they come together, I mean, it's uh, they all want the best for each other, so. Leila Fernandez, uh, I'm very impressed by, uh, by her improvement in level of play this week. I'm really excited to see what she's gonna bring to the court this week, but this is just the beginning of a very long career for her. Just to be here on the tour, WTA, it, it has helped me a lot. The balls are coming heavier and stronger, but I'm excited and hopefully we'll get there. Gabby Dabrowski, uh, she's the, our double specialist. You know, sometimes on the court, I'm the one that's learning a little bit from her. She's really a great role model for the girls. Um, she's also very dedicated to Fed Cup. Um, she rises up to the occasion every single time and uh, always gives 100%. Every year that we play, the team's like a little bit different here and there, so we kind of have to adjust each time to, to who's playing and who I might potentially partner up with in the doubles match. So, you know, being on the team for so long that we always have a good level and we have so many great players. And I, I've just gotten better, I think, just playing my role, no matter who's there, because anyone who's there is good, so. Jeannie. I love seeing her walk in on the court because I never know what outfit she's going to wear. <laughs> I love her fashion style and we talk about that on the team a lot. She brings great energy, she's fun, bubbly. She's also a great mentor for the young girls to be around. I look forward to being on the court with her. Having Heidi as our Fed Cup captain I think is really cool because uh, she used to play so she knows what it's like, uh, she knows what we feel out there and um, personally I know her well, we're good friends. So. Um, you know, I know she has my back and she supports me no matter what. I feel like uh, our Canadian Fed Cup team has gotten stronger over the years. We have more girls um, who play at a better level and so I think it's, it's really exciting to know that I have um, teammates that I can really depend on is, is exciting. Bianca, she, she loves Fed Cup. It's uh, two weeks a year that I know she really looks forward to and uh, she loves playing for Canada and she presents her country with pride and honor. She's a great team player and uh, you know she's uh, Bianca Andresco and that name is very intimidating uh, to the opponents. You know having a, a top six player, a Grand Slam champion in the team just really brings the best out of the players. Uh, I know the girls they uh, they look up to her, they get to you know practice with one of the best players out there. It's a, it's a pleasure to have her on the team. I think it's very nice to come here after uh my 2019 run. Everyone has been super supportive. I was in Europe training so this worked out really well for me to be here and to be a part of this team and it's just a really good dynamic because um, we all get along really well and we have the same goals so we want each other to just keep motivating one another and um, hope for good things. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because tennis is individual sports. I personally wish um, there was more, uh, you know, team events. It's just a different feeling when you, you know, play for your country and um, and have pride in it. And I think uh, it gives you gives you a little more push if you're if you're tired. You look at the crowd, you see them supporting you. It's 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 an incredible feeling. You know, we have 
physios, we have massage therapists, we have fitness trainers, we have, you know, hitting partners and team managers and um, everyone gives 100% uh, and, and I really appreciate everyone's effort. Fed Cup ties are usually very unique. Um, we like to bring in the team together, um, you know, about a week before the tie, especially if it's an away tie. This way we, uh, you know, adjust to the surface, to the time difference. Um, a couple days before the tie, we have the official dinner, and it's usually fun because the girls get to uh, dress up and uh, we take a lot of team photos, and uh, it's just, uh, it's really fun to, you know, get ready all together and um, wear matching outfits. Um, stellar staff, uh, thank you for your efforts. It's really appreciated. You guys give 100% every day, and uh, you, gave, you make this uh, week very special and very easy for me, so I appreciate that. Um, Natalie, it's an honor to be uh, by your side. I learn from you every day. Uh, you're a great mentor, and I'm lucky really to have you by my side. I'm very lucky to have Natalie Toziet um, as a coach. I learn something from her every day. She's a great mentor. Um, she's had a lot of experience at Fed Cup. I think she holds the record for the uh, amount of Fed Cup ties played. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really a, ple a pleasure to be around everybody. We're practicing doubles this morning, guys. <laughs> yes. I'm actually so pumped. Like, really? I never just practice doubles, you know? And you're good at it. <sighs> nice of you to say. <laughs> How about you? Any depths on the horizon? Mm, not really. <laughs> not that good. I like doing things during the week as a team, um, eating together, you know, riding in cars together, try to keep it um, more of a group feel. We have a very good team energy and it's easy because the girls are easy, easy going. Um, we have a great time. It's actually an enjoyable week. commence the draw and the following players have been nominated to play singles. Usually the day before matches we have um, the draw ceremony and then we have media right after that. Uh, the girls want it to be over as soon as possible <laughs> so that they can have lunch and get on the court. But yeah, you start kind of feeling a little bit of the nerves before, uh, you know, the day before the tie and uh, you start to feel uh, really that it's about to happen and uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. Um, I get excited for the girls and I'm sure they feel the same way. Uh, obviously, Switzerland uh, has very good female players, so I know that uh, the matches won't be easy. Team Canada has proved that uh, we're really good at facing adversity in many ways. We're just a very positive group and we work really hard, we motivate each other, so I think we can do really big things here. I, I don't see any challenges, that this is an opportunity and this is a great opportunity for Canada, that we have an experienced team and they are helping me a lot over here, so it's, uh, it's great to be a part of it. Well, our uh, top two players right now, Belinda Bencic and Jill Teichmann, I think um, you know, Belinda had a great last season uh, with winning a couple tournaments and making semifinals at the Grand Slam. Now newly number five in the world, so with uh, lots of confidence. And Jill Teichmann has uh, always been a very talented young player. Who, they're the same age and um, uh, the evolution she made. And, um, you know, she'll be given the first time a chance to play a Fed Cup tie. Uh, in singles, and um, I'm uh, really interested in what's going to turn out.
I think Canada uh, has a tough battle coming up this weekend against the Swiss girls. They have a lot of highly ranked players and um, you know definitely have that experience uh, as individual players and also in Fed Cup. So I think it's important that we just you know fight really hard as a team and you know leave everything out on the court and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's no doubt that we uh, we have a tough challenge ahead of us. I mean, the Swiss team uh, they have they have a great lineup. It's another challenge for us that we're going to be playing an away tie. But the girls are used to that. Our last couple ties have been uh, have been away, so you know they know the crowd's going to be against them and. We're expecting tough matches. Obviously, uh, Belinda is, is a great player. Um, we have nothing to lose. Uh, Layla's fearless on the court, and so is Jeannie. Uh, Fed Cup usually brings the best out of the players, and I know that they're going to give 100% on the court. They're going to do their best, and that's really all I can ask for. I think the biggest challenge right now for Team Canada is to stay healthy because obviously we have Bianca who is doing unbelievably well, um, but she has struggled with injury. So I, I really hope that she can stay healthy because if she does, then I think we're a very, very dangerous team and I think, I think that will be probably the biggest challenge. Well, during my last tournament in Shenzhen, I got injured. I, uh, I'm still injured. I have a meniscus tear in my medial side. Um, so I've been really working on strengthening that. It sucks. It really sucks. I could sit here and lie and say that it's somewhat good um, in a way, but it really isn't. I mean, I hate just sitting around and watching everyone play. I mean, I'm super happy for them, obviously, but I also want to be out there competing, do what I love to do, um, but patience is key, especially in recovery and success, so I think it's teaching me a huge lesson on that. You know, Bianca was doing a little bit of progress every day. Time was against us this tie, um, but we, we didn't feel like she was at 100% and we didn't want to take that risk because her health and her injuries are our number one priority. Um, so we did take the right decision. We had to uh, make a tough decision. Um, had to be a last minute decision. With uh, Bianca's injury, we were just taking it day by day. Yeah, I'm very confident in my uh, decision and um, yeah, it had to be done. Yeah, um, this week is a little bit challenging because um, three of my girls have, uh, you know, a, a cold and a sore throat. Uh, Bianca, uh, Jeannie, and Gabby. Unfortunately, they're not feeling too hot. We had to take a couple of days off. We had to adjust a little bit, but um, you know, the stuff happens, and uh, hopefully, they're gonna you know, push through. And uh, I'm hoping by tomorrow they feel uh, they feel a bit better. Layla and Gabby and uh, Jeannie, you know, they're. Uh, they're gonna pull us through the week. Uh, I'm lucky to have, uh, you know, unbelievable players on my team, and uh, I'm very confident for this week. She's gonna warm up some returns, and then she's gonna do return in the first first shot. Same thing with the serve. Warm up and then serve in the next ball. Serve and do serve. Serve in first shot. shot. Perfect. I think that's good, just a reaction on the first shot, mm -hmm. but to not have to play at the whole point. And yeah, let's do that. First plus one. Return plus one. So good. Yeah. You okay? Careful. Yep. Okay, then forehand only. Right, look, whatever happens, it's fine. It is what it is. We'll deal with it. Don't worry. I know what for this. Nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. Well, I should, I should have not practiced, huh? She, um, she hit a backhand return. First serve. Hugo hit a first serve. So it was too hard. And she hit it, and she, she felt pain right here. So, yeah. Left. Left? Yeah. We 
had to uh, take a decision this morning. Um, you know, unfortunately, Jeannie hurt her wrist uh, towards the end of practice yesterday, last five minutes actually. So, uh, you know, we had to uh, to take a decision, have her sit out singles, and you know, have Gabby uh, play. Um, so, um, yeah, but that's that's up, up and down. Look, we've had a tough week, obviously, with injuries, sickness. Layla, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're such a tough player. There's Seriously, go out there, swing, give it your best so you could do it. I believe you can. And Gabby, have fun on the court. <laughs> All right, Layla. Oh, let's do it. Oh. Canada on three. One, two, three. Canada! two singles matches this year and in my preseason I played one baseline game of points and that was my singles prep for today <laughs> so um, obviously we're at an away tie so every man cheering counts <laughs> she actually gave me a, a good tip when I look back at her <laughs> what was that? can't tell you <laughs> um, I'm excited to see uh, you know how Leila's gonna perform but uh, you know she's going to be a great, great experience for her playing uh, a top five player. She's never played uh, a top ten player before, I think. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a good matchup to, she, to see where she's at. And uh, you never know, she has no pressure. She'll go out there swinging and uh, oh, I'm excited to see. Welcome to day two coverage of the Fed Cup qualifier in the beautiful city of Beale, Switzerland. Today, Canada and the Swiss battle for a spot at the Fed Cup Finals this April in Budapest.
this morning, or I should say this afternoon, Layla surprised us with, uh, with an unbelievable match and a great win. Really, she played some of her best tennis, and uh, you know, she handled her emotions very, very well. Sometimes, you know, you can get tight closing a match against a top five player, but she, um, she handled that no problem, and uh, she stayed uh, mentally tough the entire time. Uh, I was super happy to get the win for Canada. To be able to play here in Fed Cup in Switzerland is a, it's an amazing opportunity. And to play against Belinda, top five player in the world, is a, it's another great achievement. I don't know. I think it was a match point when uh, I got it on the first match point. I was so happy that I couldn't stop smiling. My heart was beating super fast. I don't think it was normal. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, I had a great team of girls here and uh, we really look forward to uh, April. Um, you know, hopefully uh, next time everyone's going to be healthy and be slightly different circumstances. But uh, again, very proud of these girls, um, you know, especially Layla with an unbelievable win against top five player today. Um, very, very proud of her. And uh, we fought hard. We, we went down swinging and we went down with dignity and uh, we got to keep our head up and, uh, you know, keep moving forward and uh, look forward to the tie in April.